Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I wish I had videotaped in there. Good morning everyone. It is a beautiful morning. It rained and thundered last night and this morning is really nice. Everything got watered which is awesome and I am on my way to my grocery store and I'm going to be getting some ingredients because I am going to be making you some tacos al pastor. All right what I have here is one and a half onions. I've just half or quartered one onion and then I've got four garlic cloves because they were pretty big so I've got four of them and like I said I'm doubling the recipe so you would use half an onion and then I've got another half of onion here chopped for my tacos at the end so that's way for later in the afternoon but I'm going to be using this right now and then I've got my guajilla uh, dried chiles and what I'm doing is uh, you're going to need about maybe two or three of them I'm going to if you don't find the guajilla chili powder Okay, uh, that's if you do find the powder, the chili powder, then use that. And you're gonna use about, a, I don't know, about it's just about a quarter cup on here on my on my little recipe card. So you, it's quite a bit. So anyway, so I, instead I'm using these dried, and I'm what I'm doing is I'm taking off the stems, and then I'm taking out all the little seeds from inside of it, all these little seeds, and then I'm putting them in this little uh, pot here with some water and I've got about a cup of water in there. I might add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put this on my stove top uh, to boil for about maybe five or seven minutes and where my chiles uh, become soft because right now they're kind of hard and kind of rubbery and I want them to be nice and tender soft. So just uh, boil them till you, get to the, till you get to them to that point. So they're in here and I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the stove and we're gonna go ahead and slice up our pineapple. All right, so we get to the point where we're gonna slice up our pineapple and then you realize, you know what? I should have gotten canned pineapple because now I gotta slice up this pineapple, but then I remember that I had this pineapple core slicer thing and so I'm using it. So all I had to do was put it in the very top and just kind of push it down a little bit. And then I've just been twisting downward. My son has used this before. And, but he's gone because he's in the Marines, <laughs> so I can't ask him for help. And he did a great job pulling this out of here. I'm kind of scared to do so, but of course, if I just tear into this, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is probably the easiest way to just do all this, is just to tear it up. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And my pineapple is all nicely sliced by this handy dandy mechanism right here. I don't know how to wow i could have cut myself right there i don't know how to get it off of here now but it's got a little button here so i'm assuming that that's the release and that's not happening so you know what i'm gonna come back because i don't know how to do this if you know how to use this thing or you know a link to something or just not a, not a link because you probably can't put a link down below um oh you know what it is? It's because I went too far down and I got some corn here and I got it kind of clogged. Okay, this is a little bit of a fail, but it's not. I'm just going to go ahead and just slice through here and then just pull out my pineapple so I don't have any problems. We're just going to do this. La, 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 la. We're going to pretend, you know, you didn't see this happen. <laughs> but I'm letting you see it because you know what? This is real life, and this is what really happens in real life. But look at these slices. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Those are so pretty. I'm gonna take the ones that are kind of like chopped up like that and throw those in my blender, so no big deal. Okay, that's our pineapple, all sliced up. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that this is where the apple core was, and all I had to do was kind of pull on this a little bit, and it just came right out. I don't know if you had to push a button or not or if it just comes out. But be very careful with these things. These little blades here are kind of sharp. And I'm just glad that uh, I didn't cut myself. <sighs> okay, so I've got my pork. And what I've done is I've made some, some cuts here and there. And my pork just kind of uh, sliced into it a little bit, into my shoulder roast. Made some slices right here. This piece of meat right here that was kind of onto the bone right here. Um, and some bits here in the back and the fat. I've gone ahead and made some cuts in my meat just to get some of that um, that uh, chile and the vinegar and the orange that I'm gonna make. It's sort of like a marinade that I'm gonna make. Uh, gets into all of my meat, so as you can see, it's kind of like cut up a bit. Not only that, but 
I can also maneuver it into my pan a little bit better that way, and I can make sure that it, that it does fit in there into my crock pot. What you could do is you could uh, put this in your pork into a like a foil pan or something like that, or, or a, a casserole pan, and then this uh, what you're going to do in this blender, pour it over it like a marinade, cover it up, put it in the fridge at least four hours or overnight so that it marinates really well. And then you can actually put this on your grill and smoke it or slowly barbecue it or whatever you want to do. If you want to use a pork loin, what you can do is slice up your pork loin into little slices, marinate them in the same thing and also barbecue that. Okay, but we're gonna be using the slow cooker. And so now I've got them in there. Now I'm gonna take um, these uh, guajillo peppers, which have been boiling and kind of the water's already kind of almost gone and uh, they're nice and soft and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my and I'm using this that I use in my pork but it's no big deal because everything's gonna go in the same pan eventually and it's all gonna get cooked okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pour those chiles you're gonna use about three of them again I am doubling my recipe so you're seeing me do double what I'm going to print or actually type down below in the description box sorry I have to get a napkin okay let's get this out of the way for now and I've got my blender here, and I've got my chiles in there. I'm gonna take uh, the onion and the garlic cloves, really the whole thing. And again, you're gonna be using half an onion, about three garlic cloves. And I'm gonna take some of this pineapple, some of these chunks, and I'm gonna throw them in there. And uh, the rest of it I'm gonna put on the pork as sort of like a decoration. Okay, so then I've got some chipotle peppers. You're gonna use about one large one or two small ones. This is a teaspoon, okay? And I'm considering that a small one. And since I'm doubling it, I'm gonna add, oh, here's a big one. So I'm gonna add two small ones and one large one. And then I'm also gonna add some of the adobo, which is the tomato sauce that's in the chipotle can. And you're gonna add about one or two teaspoons, so again, I'm doubling it. There we go. And then a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of uh, salt, a teaspoon of, um, what else have I got here? Oh, I've got pepper, and I've got oregano, and the chili powder, so I've doubled everything, and I'm gonna pour that right in there. Get all that in there, okay. And now I'm gonna add some liquids. So I'm gonna add some vinegar. The recipe calls for eight ounces of vinegar. This is 16 ounces, so I should probably pour the whole thing, but I'm just gonna pour eight ounces for now because I do have a little bit of water in there and I wanna see what that looks like. Okay, let's see. I don't remember how much orange juice I'm gonna use, so let me look at my little recipe that I wrote down here because I usually just throw things in there. And of course, I didn't write that down. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use about half a cup. You're gonna use about a quarter cup of orange juice, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour about half a cup and pour that in. And I think I need just a little more. I'm gonna use another quarter cup of vinegar. So you use a cup of vinegar, quarter cup of orange juice. This is just me doing the uh, little extra, okay. We're gonna cover this up, and that all pretty much cooled down those peppers. The orange juice was cool, so that's not too hot. Normally, if you're gonna blend some hot things, you wanna put a towel and make sure you're protected so it doesn't explode on you. Okay, so I'm just gonna liquefy this, and then we're gonna pour it right in there, so lots of noise. cord here so I can plug all my stuff on my island and so you can see this better than if I had it on another counter because I have direct light right above so there we go here's all this yummy yummy sauce look at that it looks so good I put my little finger in there to oh my gosh oh my gosh oh 
you taste it, but then it kind of hits you and it's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna throw these pineapples in there because I kind of want to pour that juice right on top. And these pineapples are gonna be yummy because then they're gonna cook in here. They're gonna get real nice and soft and juicy with everything, how they're slow cooking. And um, when I serve my tacos, I'll have some little chunks of pineapple. And we're gonna pour this all over on top just like that look how beautiful that looks the color is wow so there's nothing like using some actual chili peppers you know those dried chili peppers you see in the market get those try them out try them out with different things okay you know don't be scared to use them just remove the little the little seeds and the little veins and just get a couple just to try out and if you want to don't, if you don't want to do pork you don't eat pork you can use chicken thighs. I think chicken thighs would be great with this recipe. So, okay, I'm gonna cover this up. Let's turn this on. And I want it on high, and I'm gonna put it for, I think I want it for six hours. There we go, six hours. I'm gonna cover it up. We're gonna check it somewhere in between. But I'm just gonna let this do its job. And we'll be back sometime in the afternoon so we can finally eat our tacos al pastor. All right, it has been three hours and my uh, pork has been slowly cooking. I checked it a little bit ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so that you can see what it looks like so far. It smells amazing. This chili and uh, the spices, the, the onions and the pineapple that I put together in the blender smells amazing. I wanted to show you, um, I think it was right here, yeah right here where I pulled up a little bit of the pork so you can see what it's looking like at the three hour mark. I was able to pull off this little piece, kind of gave it a little tug and it came right off. And um, so it's doing really good and I'm, I can't wait because I want this to be nice and tender and just fall off the bone. And it's almost doing that, but it's not quite there. So I think another three hours is gonna be awesome. Look at the way the pineapple looks. Oh my gosh. So like I told you, if you don't use a pork uh, roast or pork butt, I think it's the same thing, a shoulder and a, and a butter, the same thing. Uh, you could use a loin and if you marinated it overnight and then sliced it up and barbecued it, if you wanted to do that, grill it instead of putting it in a slow cooker, then you just got to cut it up into little chunks and that would be great to fill in for those tacos that I told you about. And again, if you don't eat pork, you can certainly use some chicken thighs you could use chicken breast but it would probably be you know a little dry but i think chicken thighs would work really great and with the smell of this sauce and when i tasted it i think it would be a great combination okay so i'm just going to cover this back up come back in another three hours and hopefully we'll be able to have our tacos then all right everyone it has been six hours now so let's take a look at this look at that it looks so delicious let's pull out some of this meat oops i don't want it look it's falling apart right off the bone there's that bone the meat fell clean off of it let me show you the bone so that you can see how it just came right off the meat came right off of that all right so we're going to pull this pork out of the slow cooker and I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, pull it apart with my tongs and a fork, because I'm not gonna need a knife for this, guys. Look at this, it just comes right apart. Look at that piece right there. That looks so delicious. All right, so I've been pulling apart most of this pork. I still have some in my slow cooker, some nice big pieces in there, right in there. And I've got more pineapple in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and start building. This is some of the little fat that was on the, bottom of the pork and just pull those out of the way. I've chopped up some of this pineapple here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and build myself a taco. So I've got a plate, a corn tortilla that I've warmed up and I'm gonna take some of this pork and just put some in there. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. With the little specks from the pepper, those chili peppers. We can put uh, some lettuce in there if we want or some cabbage some cilantro i'm gonna add some chopped onion as well and i'm gonna add a little bit of my favorite salsa so that is my little pulled pork 
taco. We're going to enjoy that. Take a nice bite of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you will give my, me a thumbs up as well. Leave a nice comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and share on your social medias. Again, the recipe will be down below in the description box if you wanna follow exactly as I did it. I also put instructions on how you can also put it on the grill. But this is it. Let me know what you think. And as always, enjoy. Thank you.